Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Teen Wolf Rat Season 5 Episode 12 and this one is titled Damnatio Memoriae. Memoria? Memoriae? Yep. Memory of Damnation? I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's just watch you can't keep an eye on me 24 7. you disappeared for three days keeping an eye on you for the rest of your natural born life i told you i was a malia which doesn't improve your argument <laughs> for all i know you could have been dead i kind of was Those people do crime. Bacon County Sheriff's Department. Yeah. She can still hear her. Damn. Ben, what are you doing here? I, I sent you like a hundred texts. I saw. What you? You saw it? That's it. Liam, you need to go. Can they, like, help her? What? Okay, he just went past her? That's lucky. He didn't feel the need to kill her. Good. Scott did that once. Ding, ding, ding. You left me for dead. You were dead. Ugh. Now she's mad at him. This is from the relay station security camera. <laughs> that looks big and too fast for anyone to get a good look at it. You already know what it is, don't you? The last camera. The last. That's how it happened. Except it didn't happen to him. Yeah. Yeah, he's he I, said like the right uh story, I can't but you can tell anyone. Marcia, did you think that I wouldn't believe it was self-defense? But what if it wasn't? It was. The real conflict you're having now is between your head and your heart. Your head, your head knows that the only crime you committed was surviving. Yes. But you can't help but it feel heart, bad. Your heart still thinks it was murder. You gotta get your heart to catch up to your head. And since that's not always the easiest thing in the world to do, then maybe you start by forgiving someone else. Someone who probably really needs it. Someone like Scott. He needs it for what? For not having been there? He was... Well, I guess forgiving Scott for not believing him, but... The whole thing was me sleeping. Josh? Then maybe you should have left me dead. Or maybe... You just need to feel something else. Attach this to your nipples. Something better. Own pack of dead chimeras. Now, they both look pretty alive to me. They're not the same. There's something about him. There's something wrong about her. Maybe that's what dying does. 
does to you? What if it, what if it like darkens your soul? What if they're all evil now? Hey guys. This dude, big brain. You volunteered for the library cleanup too? I like him yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kind of like Scott and Styles 2.0, but different. You know, it's good. You're live. <laughs> yeah. So you're alive. <laughs> that that, that must be pretty uh, difficult to. Is that my laptop? Yeah. Yeah. Do you got my password? I have all your passwords. You know they just brought in another body from last night? Yeah. There's something missing in the footage. I think there's something missing in your head. I need your rest. I need you to rest. What the fuck is that, man? Everything that I tell you because I know you don't want to die again. That's a cute little fear campaign he's uh he's doing there. Oh uh, his chest was just hurting so much. Lift with your legs. You know? Understand her power and just like use it. Oh, oh no, it's paralyzed. Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Ugh. Maybe they're not ready to take on an alpha. No, they're not. Especially one that can smell fear. He's got fangs. Hey, Theo. Stones. We're actually back on the same side. Because that thing, that's what we need to worry about. Your pack and mine. We're gonna go back to school and pretend like we're normal teenagers, but at night, we're gonna be fighting for our lives. What is it? It's not a chimera. It's just a kid underneath. Someone like us. Oh. Not anymore. Did you really almost kill Scott to save me? He was a Superman. So I was super pissed. Yeah. Yeah, he's got like <laughs> solid really anger issues. Liam, nothing feels the same. Right. Except you. Except for you. It also means 
that whatever the Dread Doctors created, whatever this last Chimera really is, it's not something new. It's something old. Really old. So they didn't create a new creature. They resurrected one. Gerard. The monster whose only purpose was to kill. Not for sustenance, not for revenge, not for any rational impulse other than the drive to end life wherever it's found. It also has a rather personal connection to our family. The beast of Jordan. I was just gonna say, like, I was trying to remember the name. You're not seriously gonna make me do it. You're part of the pack, right? Okay. That's his tattoo. Still need that tattoo. I know. <laughs> Kira? Or the, oh, is it Malia? Oh, that's Kira. How do we find them? Skinwalkers are powerful shapeshifters. Mm. And not Oh, that's Kira. Take out your sword. That's what Kira's been up to, and they said that she's battling, she's going to battle the dark spirit inside of her because it's a, you know, when Scott looked at it, it was like this big thing. But okay, I like this one a lot because we had, you know, Scott and Styles getting back together, the power of friendship. And um, I just want to say, like, the, the scene between Styles and his dad, I, oh my god, that was perfect. That was a perfect scene. It needed to happen because it's a real, like, it's serious. It's a serious issue that they were, well, Styles was dealing with, you know? Because he was so, they explained it perfectly. Like, his head knows that he had no choice. He had to. He was gonna get killed. Like, there was... There wasn't another option. He tried to escape him. And even, like, it wasn't voluntary. It happened. And he remember... He remembers, like, wanting him dead. But it's like... He probably just thought, like, oh my god. Fucking die just because he was going after him. But the him killing it, I think it was an accident but like a happy accident if you can say because he was gonna kill him but his heart feels guilty because he took a life and styles is not a killer like that's not something he he wanted to do he's not happy about that because he knew that person but it doesn't change that like it was self-defense and he needed to hear it from someone else like breaking it down for him and being like you're not a bad person you did what you had to do it is unfortunate that he died but you would be dead too <laughs> you would be dead so i think that was amazing and styles his dad is he's a great dad he really is like they have a great relationship and like i said last time it's one of my favorite things about the show it's um that relationship like the parents are pretty good like the ones we see more often like um melissa and uh stilinski they're great parents like melissa i love her to death also like she's amazing she's such a badass and she's such like a she's a present mom as much as she can be and like she's a part of it and she knows and she's just like she's very courageous we've seen her in certain situations that like she she is like willing to fight for her son and that's it's amazing 
So yeah, now Theo says that they're on the same side because they're gonna fight the beast. I think the beast wasn't um, a part of the plan. Well, at least Theo didn't know about that beast, that they were gonna bring that beast back. But now that they have, it's like he's, he, he knows that he's in danger from that beast. And I'm not sure, like, I don't know why I thought the Dread Doctors were dead. I'm still not sure, because, like, I feel like we've seen them at the end of the episode where we had, like, the painting, unless it was the one before that. I don't, uh, I don't know. Because they fought them last time, I just don't remember if they're, they've been killed. Um, but yeah, he's not a chimera, he's the beast. La bête de Gévedon. Givadon. Anyways, um, and that's cool because it dates back to like season one, I think, when we were learning about the lore and it was Kate who like told Allison about it. So that's really cool that they're bringing it back and it's, it's huge. It's fucking huge. Like, how do we kill that? How do we kill that? So I'm excited. I really am. So yeah, now we just have to get the, the pack back together because they're all like they're all doing their thing so yeah we just have to get everyone back on board and i think we're gonna succeed so it's gonna be cool all right so that was season five episode 12 damnatio memoriae memoriae so i'll see you guys for the next episode and thank you so much for watching Bye -bye.